to understand the atomic nature of the different states or the different phases of matter, we can use what we call the kinetic theory of uh, matter to, in order to explain what is going on when something is a solid, to explain what is going on when something is a liquid, and to explain what is going on when something is in a gaseous state. Now, kinetic theory makes a few assumptions, and we need to take these as assumptions into consideration when we talk about kinetic theory. Now, the first assumption is that all matter are made of particles. So all matter is just particles, all right? Little rounded spheres, objects like soccer balls or whatever balls, uh, and, th and they're moving and doing something, all right? The second assumption is that all these particles, they're either moving or vibrating or doing something. It's always in motion, it's always non-static, it's always doing something, all right? Thirdly, the movement of these particles depends on the state that, or phase that the substance is in. So in a solid phase, it will do something. In a liquid phase, it will do other things. In a gas phase, it will do something completely different. All right? And finally, um, when we talk about kinetic theory, we always associate it with diffusion and gas pressure. Now, gas pressure is simply when a substance in its gaseous form or gaseous state, and that particle is colliding with the wall of the container. When it hits a wall of the container in an amount of force, when you have the accumulation of all these tiny forces come together, so instead of just one particle, you have like tons of little gas particles hitting the wall of the container. The sum of all these collisions can be quantified in terms of gas pressure. So let's talk about the kinetic theory in terms of liquids, solids, liquids, and gases. In the solid state, in the solid state, particles are closely packed together. So they are all right packed together in a regular arrangement, all right? They're all packed together nice and neat in a regular arrangement. This packedness means that you, we are not able to compress solids. So if I take a solid and I press it down, nothing will happen, all right? The solid will remain as how it looks. And because it's a, and when we talk about regular arrangement, we like to use the word lattice, the word lattice. Lattice implies a fixed regular arrangement in terms of rows and columns of these particles. They are very neat, kind of neat, all right, usually. Okay? And in the solid phase, particles cannot move. They're in their fixed positions and they vibrate. So they vibrate, they move. As long as it's not absolute zero, these particles will vibrate, okay? When matter is in the liquid phase, there's a lot more energy in the system, right? Here you have the liquid. So the liquid, you can see, it's a, uh, they're still closely packed. The, the liquid's particles are still closely packed, which means you can't really compress it. So if you try to compress water, squeeze down into a bottle of water, the water has to go somewhere. So it usually escapes at the weakest point of the container or whatever it is you have. But you also notice that liquids uh, kind of flows, right? That's because it has an irregular arrangement. It does not have a regular arrangement. So one moment that particle is there, the other moment is down there, the other moment is up there on the left, on the side, on the right. So it doesn't have a regular arrangement. It really, the arrangement depends on what you're doing with it or what's happening to it. All right? So um, 
liquid particles also flow easily, all right? So they can move past one another, they can move past one another, like when you're pouring water, so it moves past one another. Uh, and the particles also vibrate. So not only does it move, it also vibrates, okay, at the same time. Now, when we talk about particles in the gaseous state, these particles are just everywhere. They're loose and free. And you can, they are everywhere, moving around the container at random speeds and random direction. And, and because they're all free and loose, and they're spread out, very spread out, that means you can compress the gas. You can compress them because they're everywhere. So again, that's the kinetic theory of solids, solids, liquids, and gas.